Chapter 13 Examine Yourselves Are You in the Faith? 13,1-4 Be ready for my visit. 13,5-7 Be sure you are in the faith. 13,8-10 Be obedient to God's word. 13,11-14 Be mature in the faith, concluding remarks and salutations. 13,1 This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. Paul repeats that he wants them to be ready when he visits them, 1214. The law said, at the mouth of two witnesses, or at the mouth of three witnesses, shall the matter be established, duet. 1915, two or three witnesses will identify, point out, those who persist in the uncleanness, fornication, and lust, 1221. The false Hebrew ministers were transformed by Satan to appear to be ministers of righteousness, 1115, but are the fake ministers of Christ, 1123, because they are not Pauline in their doctrine. The gospel of the kingdom on earth is to trust in the name of the Son of God to sit on David's throne is Jesus, Luke 1 verse 32, Matt 16 16, John 20 verse 31, Acts 4 verse 12. Paul's gospel is that the Son paid for our sins on the cross, was buried to put away that sin, and rose again for our justification, Rom. 4.25, 1 Cor. 15, 3, 4. 2 I told you before, and foretell you, as if I were present, the second time, and being absent now I write to them which heretofore have sinned, and to all other, that, if I come again, I will not spare, 3 since ye seek a proof of Christ speaking in me, which to you word is not weak but is mighty in you. I have told you before, and I tell you ahead of time that I am willing to reprove, castigate, those who have sinned, as I did on my second visit, 2 colon 1. I write to warn those who have sinned and committed spiritual fornication by teaching doctrine other than mine, Gal. 1 colon 6 9, that I will use my apostolic authority against the false ministers, 11 colon 13 15, and those who follow them when I arrive. Since they look for proof that Christ is speaking in him, Paul proves that Christ is not weak, but forceful in him defending the truth for their good, but said Christ is mighty in them also, 6 colon 7. For for though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God toward you. Christ appeared weak like Adam in human flesh to Satan to entice Satan into wanting to crucify him, but three days later up from the grave he arose by the power of God. Timothy and I are also physically weak humans, but we have the resurrection power of God in us to deal with you Corinthians. Christ is the power of God to save and resurrect two groups, Peter's and Paul's, Rom. 1 16, 1 Cor. 1 18, 24, 1 Peter 1 verse 5. 5. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates? The Corinthians examined Paul in 1 Corinthians 9 verse 3, now Paul said, examine yourselves to verify whether you are in the faith. When Paul says the faith, 13 colon 5, he does not mean just any faith. The faith is to believe Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery given to Paul, Rom. 1625, the sound doctrine in Romans to Philemon. Are they following Christ's heavenly ministry to the body of Christ through Paul or Christ's earthly ministry to Israel? God wants us to understand all of the Bible from a Pauline perspective, 2 Tim. 2 colon 7, know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates? One of the mysteries given to Paul is the life of Jesus according to the revelation of the mystery is in them, 4 colon 7, 10, 11, Colossians 1 verse 27. His life in them is the power of God. Someone who has this life of Jesus in them is not a reprobate. The plural word reprobates only appears three times in the Bible, and all in 2 Corinthians 13 verses 5 to 7. The singular word reprobate is in the Bible four times which helps us define the word, ja. 6.30, Rom. 1.28, 2 Tim. 3.8, Titus 1 verse 16. From these verses, we gather that it is very important not to be a reprobate. Jeremiah 6 verse 3 makes it clear that it means to be a reject. The dictionary defines it as not passing the test, destined to eternal destruction, not allowed. 
Someone who rejects Paul's gospel is reprobate because they do not have the life of Jesus in them. If they are reprobate, without Christ's life or his righteousness in them, they will not be allowed to enter heaven. If we do not have the life of Jesus in our mortal body, we are reprobates. For 11. Paul's gospel is the only gospel by which we are saved today. Paul gives the gospel many times in many ways in his letters, but the clearest and most concise verses are 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 and 4. It is possible for someone to put their faith in the wrong gospel and not be saved if they have never heard any of Paul's letters. Faith comes by hearing the word. So, then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Rom 10.17.6 But I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. Paul trusts that they will know that Christ is speaking in him. Rom 8.9.7 7 Now I pray to God that ye do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates. Evil is not believing the message Christ gave to them through their apostle Paul. We want you to do what is honest, for your sake and not ours, even if we were reprobates. 8 For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. The truth of Christ's instruction through Paul will stand regardless of what Paul and Timothy do. The truth is not only the gospel of our salvation, but all the truth in Paul's letters. No one wanted to live in heaven until Paul, 5 colon 1. It is true that Paul is the apostle of the Gentiles, Rom, 11 13, and that God is forming the body of Christ in this dispensation of grace, F, 2 colon 13 18, 3 colon 2. Right division is not optional. It is the only way to have our eyes open to the truth of the scriptures. The risen, glorified Lord Jesus sent Paul to the Gentiles to open their eyes that they may receive forgiveness of sins, Acts 26 verse 18. God wants to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, F. 3 colon 9. If someone does not see the mystery in the Bible, it may be because they are not using a King James Bible. We need a perfect Bible to rightly divide the word of truth. The dispensation of grace in which we live was first and only revealed to Paul, 1 Tim, 1 16, F, 3 colon 1 9, Colossians 1 verses 23 to 29. The body of Christ is not found outside his epistles. 9 For we are glad when we are weak, and ye are strong, and this also we wish, even your perfection. For we are joyful when we are weak, and our desire is your perfection. Perfection is when they are strong and confident in the preaching of Christ's instruction to his heavenly people so that Christ according to the mystery is formed in them and us. Rom 1625 Gal 419 A justified Pauline believer is perfect when he believes Christ's heavenly instruction which Satan wants to conceal for colon 1-4 2 Tim 226 All scripture rightly divided is profitable that the man of God may be perfect truly furnished unto all good works, 2 Tim, 2 15, 3 16, 17, dot. 10 Therefore I write these things being absent, lest being present I should use sharpness, according to the power which the Lord hath given me to edification, and not to destruction. Therefore I write this letter while I am away from you so you will unite behind Christ's ministry through me, so I will not have to use sharp words according to the apostolic authority the Lord gave me, 1 Cor. 421. But, I will make my next visit another demonstration of my power and apostolic authority if I have to, Rom. 1617, 18. But if you repent, change your minds, and stop following the false ministers, I will not have to prove my apostolic authority by coming to discipline you. Paul wants to save them from being beguiled by the serpent's subtility so their minds will not be corrupted away from following the sound doctrine Christ gave to him for us. The Lord Jesus Christ gave him this authority for their edification, not for their destruction. Paul has given overwhelming evidence in this letter that he is the master builder, 1 Cor. 310, Christ's apostle to lay the foundation for the heaven-bound body of Christ, to build, not to tear it down. The unclean thing is false doctrine, it is unclean to believe doctrine that does not apply to us. We must cast down imaginations and every high thing that does not obey Christ's word through his apostle, Paul. Following the teaching of another apostle, Peter, or mixing Peter and Paul, is to follow another Jesus, 
Christ's earthly ministry, another spirit, legalism, another gospel, the kingdom on earth. Sadly, most of the body of Christ has been beguiled from the pulpit into committing this spiritual fornication for nearly 2,000 years. 11. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Paul closes the letter swiftly. Notice the love that flows from these final words. Paul says brothers take care. He makes no distinction between those who attacked him and those who support him. Be perfect, stand in the truth, the sound doctrine Christ gave his heavenly group through me. Be of good comfort, stay fortified in your mind knowing we will be resurrected. 1 colon 5, 5 colon 1, 1 core. 1551, 52. We are comforted by the fact that Christ is in us as we go through our momentary light afflictions, for colon 16-18. God comforted Paul and he will comfort us as we get the truth out, 1 colon 5. God comforts us with the word of God rightly divided ministered by his Holy Spirit. We can have comfort knowing that Christ wrote 13 letters to us and that we are not going through Jacob's trouble, Ja. 30 colon 7, 1 Thess. 5 colon 9, the rapture is exclusively found in Paul's letters and can occur at any time. We can be of one mind, Phil. 127, 2 colon 2, as we believe and obey the same message from the same. Messenger, Paul, using the King James Bible, 1 Cor. 110, Phil. 316, live in peace. During the dispensation of grace in daily expectation of the Lord's return before the tribulation, 519, 1 Thess. 110, Titus 2 verse 13. The God of love and peace shall be with you. The gracious life of Christ in us. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me, and gave himself for me. Galatians 2 verse 20. Love and peace is the result of the life of Jesus in us, and having our minds reprogrammed by studying his word daily, to think like him. This is how we have the mind of Christ, 1 Cor. 2 16. We live our Christian lives by believing sound doctrine and copying Paul. Those things, which ye have both learned, and received, and heard, and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Phil, 4 colon 9. 12 Greet one another with an holy kiss. Greet one another with a warm hug, handshake, or holy kiss on the cheek. 13 All the saints salute you. Hello from the saints with Paul in Macedonia. 14 The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost, be with you all. Amen. Paul graciously says you all. His closing benediction is to the body of Christ, not Israel like in Numbers 6 22-27. All three persons of the Godhead are in us, f. 4 6, Colossians 1 verse 27, 2 Tim. 1 14, Rom. 1 20, 1 John 5 verse 7. That their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God, and of the Father, and of Christ, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, Colossians 2 verses 2 and 3. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is his willingness to die in our place and rise again so he could dispense his all-sufficient grace to us, 8 colon 9, 12 colon 9. Grace is all that God is able to do because of the finished work of Jesus Christ on Calvary. The love of God is that Father God gave His Son, Rom. 832. The Holy Ghost communicates God's truth to us which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, 1 Cor. 213. Paul wants believers to unite behind what Christ is making known and doing through him. Christ through Paul is not weak, but mighty. Every second letter in the epistles addresses Satan's policy of evil. Pastor Richard Jordan 581 Gone Conclusion Some believers were listening to the wrong authorities at Corinth. Paul wrote this letter because he wants the Corinthians to decide to follow him and the sound doctrine Christ has given him, not the false apostles and ministers before he arrives. Believers make decisions, 1 Thess. 3 colon 1, 4 colon 3, Titus 3 verse 12. 
We decide, judge, and determine what is more excellent or the superior choice. Phil. 1 9 10. What happens once we commit to obeying Christ's heavenly ministry to us through Paul? All our disobedience is punished and God gives us clarity. 10 7. Now we can walk in wisdom redeeming the time. Before we were saved, we were not able to choose to do what was right or to obey his word to us. We need to have spiritual godly edification from Paul's sound doctrine in order to live right. Wrong doctrine produces wrong thinking, confusion, resulting in wrong living and instability. We should not expose our minds to wrong doctrine, but avoid it. We need to renew our minds and walk in wisdom. Paul wants us to say the same thing and have the same mind, one core. 110, we do this by giving attendance to reading, 1 Tim. 413, first Romans to Philemon, and then the rest of the Bible. It helps us to know what God is doing today, how we can be all that God has made us to be in Christ, and it strengthens and reprograms our minds. Sound doctrine not only gives us clarity, joy, and the comfort of the scriptures, but also makes us wiser. We cannot live our Christian lives based on ignorance. Phil. 317, Rom. 1617, 18. We can warn people to leave false religion, but we cannot force them to do it. They will find out later that it was a waste of time. We need to follow Christ's apostle to his heavenly group, Paul. God can comfort us through the word of God rightly divided and ministered by his Holy Spirit, 2 Tim. 2.15 this is how we can function correctly, by the excellency of God's power in us, the life of Jesus Christ living in and through us. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God, and not of us. 4 7. Prayer Prayer puts us in the closest possible connection with the true and living God. It is direct unobstructed access to our Savior. We pray for the specific details in our lives. We selflessly pray for the needs of others. Prayer has a part in getting God's will to be accomplished in the world. God's will is for all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth, 1 Tim 2 colon 4. God's active involvement in the world is linked with the prayers of the saints. Prayer is another way to express love for others. We are to pray for the ministry of others. We fight spiritual battles with prayer and not in our own strength. Paul was deeply conscious of his need for God's power. When we pray for each other, we help each other. Paul knew God would work in response to the requests and prayers of his people. This is why he asked, pray for us, that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, 2 Thess. 3 1. Paul wanted God's instruction to the body of Christ made known. He told the Corinthians, ye also helping together by prayer for us, 2 Cor. 1.11. It is good and right to ask others to pray for us. All of us depend on prayer. Paul recognized that Epaphras, knowing the dangers that threatened others, labored fervently in prayer for their spiritual welfare, like a wrestler who wants to pin his opponent. Prayer is instrumental in aligning our will to God's purpose. God's purpose is to save a group to live in heaven and to equip them to serve as ambassadors now and later in his heavenly kingdom. After our rapture, God will continue to save more people into his earthly group. A synopsis of the article Prayer Warriors by Kevin Sadler, posted by Berean Bible Society, July 3, 2022. Spiritual warfare is mental. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. 2 Co 10 colon 5 KJV We have the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16 KJV Paul's sound doctrine Guard your mind with sound doctrine Sound doctrine, what Paul writes Romans through Philemon KJV Dios lo hizo Pecado por nosotros Pecado Dios lo hizo pecado por nosotros Less Pecado El tomo mi pecado El tomo mi pecado Yo recibi su justicia. Yo recibi su justicia. Para que nosotros fusimos hechos justicial. De Dios en el tu cor. 521. 
para que nosotros fusimos hechos justicia de Dios en el 2 Cor 5.21 Justicia de Dios Appendix in Spanish Salvation Tract Justicia de Dios Sabes que nadie puede presentarse ante el Santo Padre en la Justicia de Jesucristo? Criora que Cristo murió por nuestros pecados, fue enterrado y resucitó al tercer día según las escrituras y recibiras su justicia, 1 Corinthians 15,3, 4, 2 Corinthians 5,21. Jesús tomó nuestros pecados y nosotros recibimos su justicia. Sabes que nadie puede presentarse ante el Santo Padre en la justicia de Jesucristo? Criora que Cristo murió por nuestros pecados, fue enterrado y resucitó al tercer. Dios lo hizo. Pecado por nosotros. Pecado. Para que nosotros fusimos hechos justicia de Dios en el. 2 Cor. 5.21. El tomo mi pecado. Yo recibí. Su justicia. Justicia de Dios. Dia según las escrituras y recibiras su justicia, 1 Corinthians 15,3, 4, 2 Corinthians 5,21, Jesús tomó nuestros pecados y nosotros recibimos su justicia. Sabes que nadie puede presentarse ante el Santo Padre en la justicia de Jesucristo? Criora que Cristo murió por nuestros pecados, fue enterrado y resucitó al tercer día según las escrituras y recibiras su justicia, 1 Corinthians 15,3, 4, 2 Corinthians 5,21. Jesús tomó nuestros pecados y nosotros recibimos su justicia. Where was God's word before the 1611 King James Bible, KJB? God's word has been there since the beginning when God spoke the world into existence. The word was progressively given and written in Genesis to Revelation. The King James Bible is the perfectly preserved word of God in English. Other Bibles based on the traditional received text are Olive Tan, France, 1537, Valera, Spain, 1602, and Diodati, Italy, 1607. God has preserved his word by a multiplicity of accurate copies in Hebrew and Greek, PSA, 12 colon 6, 7. The Hebrew text was written by Moses and other prophets to Malachi. The best Hebrew Masoretic text of Rabbi Benheim was used in the KJB. The original Greek New Testament and T manuscripts were written first by Christ's earthly followers, the Twelve Apostles, in Jerusalem, and then by Apostle Paul beginning in Antioch of Syria. God gave Paul the task of completing the Bible, Colossians 1 verse 25. Then the Greek was translated into Aramaic, Peshitta 100-200, Latin, Old Italian, Waldensian, and other languages. John Wycliffe translated Jerome's Latin Vulgate into English in 1380. Martin Luther, German, and William Tyndall, English, were the first to translate the accurate Greek New Testament and texts collected by Erasmus of Rotterdam, 1522. The compiled Stephanus Greek NT came out in 1550 and the Beza Greek NT in 1598. The 47 King James Bible translators used several preserved Bible texts but mainly the Bishop's Bible, 1568, which was based primarily, 90%, on Tyndall's NT work, 1526, 1534, 1535. The translators were instructed that unless the Bishop's Bible departs from the original text leave the text as it is. The King James translators were some of the best educated, brilliant, Holy Spirit-filled, God-fearing men that the world has ever produced. Thanks to Tyndall and all, we can be a people of the book. The corrupt line of Bibles began in Alexandria with Clement, 150-215, and Origen, 184-254. Two corrupt manuscripts, the Vaticanus and Sinaiticus, were supposedly written in 331 and discovered in 1500. The apostate Bible revisers Westcott and Hort concocted their corrupt Greek NT 1881 using those two corrupt manuscripts which did not agree with each other and had many words added or omitted. In fact, at least 16 verses were completely omitted. The modern Bibles are based on this text and it is referred to in the footnotes of the NKJV. The NKJV uses the inferior Hebrew text of Ben Asher. 
God has concisely told the two groups of people that he is saving, one to live in heaven and the other to live on earth precisely what they need to know. If you do not know what God is doing now, it could be because you are not a King James Bible believer. God is currently building the body of Christ. Traditional text line, Providential Alexandrian text line. 45 manuscripts. T, 5,210 manuscripts. T, Antioch. Alexandria. Apostles. Original NT manuscripts 30 to 90 AD. Syrian manuscripts. Peshitta. 100 to 200 AD Old Latin and Syriac of Originals, 100 to 200 A.D. Papyri Manuscripts, 85% trad.text, 1 150 to 400 AD Uncial and Cursive Manuscripts, 99% trad.text, 150-1500 AD Latin Bibles, Waldensians, etc. 1100 A.D. 1300 A.D. Erasmus Greek NT 1522 AD Martin Luther Bible 1522 A.D. 1534 AD German Tyndall's N.T. 1522 AD Coverdale Bible 1535 AD Matthew's Bible 1537 AD Great Bible 1539 AD English Stephen's Greek NT 1550 AD Geneva Bible 1560 AD Bishop's Bible 1568 A.D. English Beza's Greek NT 1598 AD King James Bible, 1611 AD The Pure Word of God, Preservation of the Text of the New Testament, Corruption of the Scriptures, Gnosticism, Arianism, Pagan Philosophy, Wycliffe, N.T., English, 1380 AD Reformation, I.Z.A.D. 3, Protestantis, Dibel of Waldensian, Italic, Donatists, Gauls, Celts, 120-1400 AD Anabaptists, 1525 AD Constantine, 312 AD 312 A Mennonites, Dutch Raptists, Quakers, Catholicism, Latin Vulgate, 182 AD Papyrus Manuscripts, P66, P75, etc. 200 AD Clement, 150 to 215 AD Origen, 184 to 254 AD Eusebius, 260 to 340 AD Vaticanus Manuscripts, 331 AD Sinaiticus Manuscripts, 331 AD Jerome, 382 AD Alexandrinus Manuscript, 450 AD Reims Douay Bible, 1582 AD, English, Greek New Testaments, Greisbach 1805 AD, Latchman 1850 AD, Trigels 1870 AD, Tischendorf 1870 AD, Alfred 1872 A.D. Westcott HORT, Greek Northern Territory 1881 AD, Revised Version, 1881 A.D. She was saved in 1990. She became not only a King James Bible user, but a King James Bible believer in 2014. She has more than 25 years of experience teaching the Bible, 18 of those years were with the Awana Clubs where she earned her Citation Award for Bible Memorization. In 2015, she was introduced to Pauline Dispensational Truth by watching Les Feldick on YouTube. After learning the basics of rightly dividing the Word of Truth, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15, she learned more from the Bible and Richard Jordan and his Gray School of the Bible. A retired Nurse midwife, she has devoted the rest of her life to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, F. 3 colon 9. She teaches a Bible study in her home which is available on Facebook and YouTube, MarianneManley.com. Her joy after understanding the Bible better led her to edify the body of Christ by writing God's Secret in 2017. Romans, a concise commentary, 1 Corinthians, a commentary, 2 Corinthians, a commentary, Galatians, a commentary, Treasure Hunt Volume 1, Romans to Galatians, Ephesians a commentary, Philippians, Colossians, Philemon commentary, Treasure Hunt Volume 2, Paul's prison epistles, Why was the earth without form, void, and dark? Just as God said for children, the certainty of the pre-tribulation rapture, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians commentary, Paul's pastoral epistles, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, and Philemon commentary, Treasure Hunt Volume 3, 
Paul's T. Books, Acts of the Apostles Commentary Part 1, 2, 3, Miss the Rapture? Read this commentary on Hebrew and how to be saved made simple, why the King James Bible is the Holy Bible and the rightly dividing study guides. Many people have all her books. Other books by Marianne Manley. God's Secret A Primer with Pictures for How to Rightly Divide the Word of Truth on Amazon.com in Black and White Edition and in Spanish El Secreto de Dios. Why the King James Bible is the Holy Bible. Rightly Dividing Colossians and Philemon Study Guide. Rightly Dividing Philippians Study Guide. Rightly Dividing Ephesians Study Guide. Rightly Dividing Galatians Study Guide. Rightly Dividing 2 Corinthians Study Guide. Rightly Dividing 1 Corinthians Study Guide. Rightly Dividing Romans Study Guide. Romans, a concise commentary, also in a black and white edition. 1 Corinthians, a commentary. 2 Corinthians, a commentary. Galatians, a commentary. Ephesians, a commentary. Philippians, Colossians, Philemon commentary. The certainty of the pre-tribulation rapture, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, Paul's pastoral epistles, Timothy letters, Titus, and Philemon commentary. Treasure Hunt Volume 1, Commentary Only Romans to Galatians, Treasure Hunt Volume 2, Commentary Only on Paul's Prison Epistles. Treasure Hunt Volume 3, Commentary on Paul's Tea Books. Why was the earth without form, void, and dark? Just as God said. Acts of the Apostles Commentary Part 1, 2, 3. Missed the rapture? Read this commentary on Hebrews. How to be saved made simple, this booklet is perfect for our lost loved ones. Could God have a 7,000 year plan for mankind? Also in black and white and AD 34 the year Jesus died for all, same content as could God, in 9 by 6 size. The author may be contacted by email at mariannemanley at sbcglobal.net. Please visit her website, www.mariannemanley.com, free.pdf. Files, follow her on Facebook at facebook.com slash marianne.manley.7 and God's. Secret Facebook page at facebook.com slash God's Secret A Primer with Pictures. Find her on YouTube, just type in her name and find her teaching the Bible. A chapter at a time, or on salvation, rightly dividing, and the rapture her YouTube channel or truth be told, or call 858-273-2049.